Welcome back to another episode of CMTV. I'm Colin, and with me today is Sam. Hi, everyone. We begin with a report in the middle school where, it was, where I was able to see the third grade STEM club. Here's more about it. The third grade STEAM club had an amazing time last week. The students were tasked with creating a bean trellis that would hold multiple feet of bean vines made of materials that would not compromise the organic nature of the school garden. The students constructed the trellis out of metal fencing, metal mesh, and zip ties. They then set the trellis up and started the seedlings that will eventually grow up the trellis. That's pretty impressive. Moving on to the middle school, here's Kyle and Olivia with Miss Sage and some students talk about that MIP community project. And Mr. Velotti talk about the 8th grade class. <coughs> Hi, I'm Olivia with CMTV here with... I'm Mrs. Horoshevsky. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm Mrs. Horoshevsky, the um, Middle Years Program Coordinator. And I am Mr. Velotti. I'm the MYP Community Project Coordinator. Can you guys tell me a little bit about what the 8th graders are doing? Um, well, this is uh, the time that we're kind of in the little crunch right now where the 8th graders have been working on their community projects, and Mr. Velotti and I have been watching all of their presentations and they've been doing really a tremendous job with that. All right, so um, all eighth graders are presenting right now uh, and they are presenting to a panel of teachers and it's uh, they could do it by themselves, groups of two or groups of three. Um, and we're seeing them uh, excel right now and show, uh, showcasing uh, what they've been working on since December. Yeah, so the kids have been really impressing us. I have to say we have been really blown away by some of um, the things that they latched onto. They, we told them they can do anything, anything that they are interested in, that they are passionate about. You know, a lot of kids are working with animals. They've collected a tremendous amount of things. We should have the cleanest beaches in Santa Riches because all the kids have <laughs> done a lot of beach cleanups. But then we have some like really um, great kids. They created videos to make senior citizens happy in um, senior living homes. Um, we have kids that are working with the church and collecting food and donating food building things. Um, they really have really, really impressed us with everything that they have done this year. Um, and they've all really benefited from seeing how their work has affected the community and made Santa Riches and even the outside community a better place to be. And now I'm here with Amelia. Can you tell us a little bit about your project? Um, every week we would sort through clothes and Every week, every Thursday, we would try to make meals for the homeless and less fortunate. And then a van, we would load up a van and they would take the clothes and food out to the less fortunate. People would come and take what they needed. Um, yeah. Thank you, sounds great. Hi, I'm Olivia with CMTV here with Ashley. Can you tell us a little bit about your community project? Most of our community project was about sorting through clothes and coats for homeless people and we got into making food and we donate it to homeless people and people in need on Thursdays and just weekly. So yeah, that's basically it. Sounds great. It's that time again. Here's some college commitments with Adam. TV turns to Lutorian Julian. So tell me what's cool you committed to? Uh Binghamton University. What are you gonna be studying? Political science with pre law. Thank you for your time and congratulations. Good luck. Congratulations to them all. Colin, didn't you also have your official college signing with George Washington last month? Yes, I did, along with three others. Here's Christian with a recap of what went down. We have a special segment of Sport Report today, as we'll look at the center Riches seniors that will be participating in college athletics next year. Congrats to Michael Luongo, Kristen Berger, Savannah Scuria, and Colin Rout for formally committing to play for their colleges on April 1st. Michael Luongo is committing to play soccer for Hofstra in the fall. Kristen Berger will play soccer for West Liberty University. Silvana Scuria committed to play soccer for New England College, and Colin Raup committed to play for George Washington University. Congratulations to all, and good luck in your upcoming seasons. We look forward to hearing how well you all do. This is Sport Report on CMTV. As I mentioned before, congratulations to everyone who committed to their college. It must be an exciting time for you all. Continuing with sports, here's Serena reporting on what's going on in Mr. Mishler's sports management class. The Santa Marichas High School Sports Management class had two guest presentations this past month. Bobby Marks from ESPN spoke to the class regarding his role as an ESPN front office NBA insider. He spoke about how he manages relationships with both players and owners in the NBA. 
Bobby shared many stories about how he was able to rise to such a position and how networking helped him gain the respect from both players and administrators alike. The class also had an opportunity to sit in a roundtable discussion revolving around how the pandemic has affected the ways they do business and how internships were vital in their career choices. They also had a player from the Nets Gaming Club. He is the NBA 2K player who resides in California and plays for the eSports team. The discussion revolved around how he was able to move up into the professional ranks and how eSports have definitely grown over the past two years. This is Serena with CMTV. Besides the sports in school and the professional sports being played, we have eSports player competing in the National Final Four for NBA 2K. Jacob Wilkinson is ranked fourth in the country and will be competing in the final four today. Congratulations to Jacob. Way to make CM proud of your accomplishments. It's been eight months since the passing of our very own Joe Herrera. Here's Zach with what some of the students have done in his memory. Students in Mr. Roy and Mr. Winslow's classes put together a fitting tribute to him. Friends of Joe were asked to write notes to Joe and had put them into a bottle. That bottle was then encased in cement where more friends decorated the wet cement and wrote messages in honor of Joe. The memorial will be dropped into the ocean later on this year. Rest in peace, Joe. With Mother's Day upon us, some of the students took the time to wish their mothers a very happy Mother's Day. We at TMTV want to wish our viewers who are moms a very happy Mother's Day as well. For CMTV, I'm Sam. And I'm Colin. Be sure to follow us on YouTube at Santa TV. Stay safe, everyone. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. 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 Happy Mother's Day.